Hey guys, welcome to episode 18 of Road to Zlatan. Last episode, we did pretty much pack only, based everything off of luck. But we're gonna switch that around today. Because today, we're just gonna check investments, trading methods, whatever. What can we do to make some coins? Because we are getting closer and closer to Zlatan and we want to push it a little bit more. Because it's fun to open packs, get some pack luck and get very good cards. And if you watched the last episode, we do have some good players now, right? And if you haven't watched it, go watch it. What are you doing here already? <laughs> but today we're going to go back to my roots. Me as a trader should trade. What am I doing there opening packs? Let's see what we can do. So if you want to make coins as well, either for now, for team of the season, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And that way you can follow my journey to Zlatan, but also some other videos on my channel. And what we're also going to do today is check the club. Like how far are we? What do we have? What is tradable? What is untradable? What are our current investments? And how close are we to Zlatan? But I can keep talking, but we can also just show it. What do we have here? Uh, the two. Yeah, I managed to do these just in time. Those there were like three icons that were ending today. I still didn't do their teams yet, the bronze team and the silver team. So I did them. It gives you tradable players. So let's see if it was worth it, because most of them were untradable that we traded in anyways. But a few were tradable, so it does cost a little bit. But of course, we invested in those, so we don't really notice it. But let's see if it's worth doing them. It's a board, so that's already good. <laughs> it's fetish. We have two more of them. Let's see. Oh, that's at least 15,000 coins. That's nice that they're still in packs. Oh, it's, it's 9,000 coins. I'll still take it. Can literally just quick sell them because he's not going to be worth anything. So it was worth it. It was worth doing them. Already just because of that. We're now over a million coins on Rotus Latin. And we still have a little bit of the investment and another board <laughs> and of course the spanish it was decent the 86 plus road to the final fat fantasy or fat birthday team you know what shall we just open it now yeah let's just open it it's a road to the final <laughs> it's still spanish still spanish miranda it's decent 81 times two it's a board Good CDM? No, it's always the 83. Small prime. Good morning, sunshine. Too bad it's untradeable. Too bad it's untradeable. It's an 83 rated card. It really doesn't matter now. And we already had him as well. Small right, it's a 25k pack. Can we get something good? It's a board at least. What, what, what can I say with all these Spanish players? We pretty much only have good packs now. Let's do the 81 times 11. It's a board. I'll just skip it. It's an 85. That's all right. Another 81 times 11. I feel like there's going to be a good one in this. It's an inform though. Italian inform. 85. Okay, what else is behind this? Nothing much. But yeah, we have some fodder that we need to trade in. The hero player pick has been reset. It's worth the same as Gattuso that we already started. We already did an 86 rated team of him. But it's also the same price as Roy Keane. And Roy Keane is in everything much better than Gattuso. And is just an end game CDM. That's just what it is. So I feel like since we already did the hero pick once on Road to Zlatan, we gotta be smart and just slowly go for him instead. So I've decided to go with Keen. We have the 84 rated squad that we can do with most of the duplicates that we had. It just looks much better than Gattuso. Sad that we did the 86 rated squad of Gattuso already, but it is what it is. Can't really change anything about it. Another 81 times 11. It's a walkout. Walkout inform. 86 rated. That, that's good for fodder. What else? Another 86. I'll take that. And the last 81 times 11. Another walkout. Spanish. 87. Okay. And what else is there? Decent. 
For an 81 times 11, I'll take that. That's good. Another walkout. Italian dance for Roddy. It's just an 8 rated player. And the 100k pack, 84 plus at least. I had hope for a second, but then we saw the different color. But for a 100k pack, three walkouts, that's very good. Then we will do the 1 times 85 plus. And it is... 88. Nice. We don't have him in the club yet, so not a duplicate. Then the 3 times 84 plus. It is 3 times an 84. First one is a walkout. German goalie. 88 rated with new hair. And 87, 86, 85, 85. Yeah, that's a decent 85 plus, I would say. Again, a walkout. Belgium. Courtois. 90 rated. That is better. Do we still have him in the club? No. The rest was really bad. Just a 90 rated. That's it. Now it's time for the big pack. The 10 token pack. 85 times 10. What's it gonna be? It is one. It is a... Which one? Is it a good one? Oh, it's the bad one. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. That's the worst one there is, I think. Like 40,000 coins. It's untradeable anyways, but... Oh, I thought I had a good one. I'm... It's actually just a very bad 85 times 10. Looking at it. And in the end, it is Spanish again, yeah. <laughs> First of all, let's check our team. Because this is our current team. I chose for Morientes over Clivert. I, I tried them both and Morientes is just better. Clivert feels slow. Actually, slow than Morientes. His dribble is kind of weird. And I don't know, it, it just fell off. I only played five games with him. I, It wasn't rivals. I did some objectives. But still, like, even though his stats don't even look too bad. Because I pretty much played golden goal. I don't know, it, something fell off with him. While with Morientes, I don't know how it looks like. Yeah, we played 55 games. <laughs> Seems a lot, but I also left a lot of games. Um, we had to win a lot of games for the packs that you just seen before. But yeah, you can trust him way more than Clivert in my opinion. So it also makes it easier to fit in with the La Liga players, obviously, in case we want to mix it up. And that's the point. We do want to mix it up. Because last episode, we packed Hummels. We completed Meunier because of this trio right here. We might be able to fit them in. And we can. It was actually very easy. <laughs> we just replaced three players with these three and everything fits everyone is on full cam you don't even really need a coach we have a la liga coach maybe that did something but still everything fits and if you compare the players that we have right so manier is on the left side of the stats he is one slower shoots five better passes two less same dribbling same defending and one more physical so the only important things looking at this they're very even right the Marcos may be slightly better because of his passing, but in the end, pretty much the same car. The only difference is, of course, the Marcos can get upgraded as well, I know. But if they win, he already gets a plus two, and that will just make him very good. Besides that, you don't see it here, but if they win and he gets a plus two, he also gets five star, five star. And that's just very interesting to me. He's also six foot three, while the Marcos is six foot, so he's much taller. Just the the pace is a bit weird on Meunier. Like his acceleration very low and his sprint speed very high. So there you kind of waste some pace if you put some put a shadow on it. While the Marcos is way more balanced, so we gotta see how that feels. But in general, he looks better. Then if we go over Hummels and Rudiger. Hummels is better in everything. Two faster, nine passing better, eleven dribbling better. 5 defending better and 3 physical better, so he's just better by far. So that's a very nice upgrade. And if we compare Fernando and Emre Can, Can has, is better in everything besides defending. And in my opinion, that, that's worth it. Fernando was good, but I think Emre Can will be better. So obviously, we're gonna put shadows on both of them. We're gonna play with that. And first, Courtois wasn't good for us. We can still replace him with Ter Stegen. It is a minus one, but I think if we take like a Belgium coach or something, it would fix it. Yeah, with a Belgium coach, it would be fixed. So we can just do that. But for now, we will try Courtois first again. Give him another try. And otherwise we can always switch it up. And yeah, we have some good super subs as well. We pretty much have a very, very good club already. And I think the next upgrades will be like maybe Venetia's out and we will see 
from then on like Foyt does very well i think he just got upgraded as well there's a very very solid card so yeah a very very good team in my opinion but i think we also slowly need to start working towards a team where ibrahimovic fits in because we're not halfway there yet but we are getting closer i'm now getting rid of this investment even though it could still work but i feel like there are better investments to put our coins in i sold oblak because he wasn't that much better than Courtois. And Courtois we packed untradeable anyway, so why not get the coins? So we're trying to get rid of the last 14 of them, which will give us another like 150k coins. And then we will be on 1.3 million coins. That's actually crazy. So we will have 1.3 million coins if we sell everything. Ibrahimovic is 2.8, so we are getting close to that halfway mark to Ibrahimovic. To be fair, we still have Lamella. We still have Rudiger that we can sell that we're not going to use now. So we can sell him. So we still have some players to sell. So I do think we can have 1.4 million. And then we didn't even look at our club yet for the bronzes and silvers that we have in the club. So I'm pretty sure we are halfway there. That's crazy. After 18 episodes, we're already halfway to Ibrahimovic. Of course, he dropped 1 million in price. Th that helps a lot as well. But the fact that we already have 1.4 million, maybe even more, depending on what we have as bronzes and silvers, we will look at that in a second. That's crazy. And I've been looking at what we can invest. And I think all fodder is pretty much good. Like I'm recording this on a Saturday. This will be dropped on Monday. So as soon as you see it, fodder might already be up. So it doesn't really work for you anymore. But maybe next week it can. But 83s, no risk. This is literally the minimum price. So we could buy one of each. Put them in the club, don't look at it. But we do have a lot of 83s in the club already. Most of them are tradable. So it would just be a lot of hassle for a few thousand coins for me. But if your club is kind of empty or you don't have many coins, this is a very safe investment to do every weekend if they're this low. 84s, low as well. 85s, very low. 86. This, oh, this is the interesting bit, right? 86 rated. Cheapest is like 13, 13.5k. Which is very cheap for them. Because if we look, for example, at Lukaku, pretty much their lowest point they're always at is like 14,000 coins. So the fact that they're at 13,000 coins now, last time when they were under 13k or around 13k, was before Team of the Year. That was the last time they were around this price. They've never, ever been lower than 11,000 coins. So I don't see them going back to 11,000 coins because we will get some SBCs. I think 86s are a very good investment. But then I look at the informs. There are two informs that are the same price as the rest of the 86s. So that's even safer and has more potential because if we look here at the gold informs and we go to 86, the cheapest ones are already like 1k more expensive than the cheapest right now, the ones that are in packs. So there are two options with the informs. They go up in price because they just go up in price because that is the price they are. So they will slowly rise when they're out of packs or they rise when you need 86s in general because they're pretty much the same price. So if 86s go up, they go up as well. So there's like a double chance of them going up in price. So in that way, it's like a super safe investment because I don't see an 86 rated inform going lower. And if so, only for a little bit. So what I think we have to do is what you can do, to be fair, is invest put one of every 83 in your club, one of every 84. 85, 86, 87s is all right. I, I don't know if I would do 87. That could be a little bit of a risk. I feel like they can be a little bit lower, but 18K isn't too bad. So I would say 88, I wouldn't do. I would say 83 to 87, or usually to 86. Buy one of each, put them in your club. Don't look at it up until the moment they're up in price because there are rumors a big SBC is coming. Well, once this video drops we already know if it, if it dropped or not i personally think they're not gonna do it yet but we will see but anyways there will be casino packs and you will most likely need like an 86 raider or something like that and we would be even more in the money if they require two 86 pluses or something in in one spc they did it with 85 plus previously hopefully they're gonna do it with 86 this time so what i'm gonna do I'm going to probably invest our million coins that we have, or 1.3 million coins, we have to see, in Posh and Honorat. We're going to buy both of those as many times as possible. We will be unassigned, so that means we won't have packs for 
maybe a few days or like a week or something. So in case we do FUD champs, I don't know if I have time for that yet, but we'll see. Maybe we just go for like six wins. We won't be able to open the packs yet till after we sold our investments because we will buy so many of them that they don't, first of all, don't fit in a club because you can only do one. So they need to be on the transfer list and there we can only put 100. We might be all right, by the way, because we can probably buy around 100 to 110 and they can be on the transfer list and in transfer targets if we bid on them. And of course, these will be gone soon as well. That will give us some space. So let's check his price. Is he really less than 14K? No, he's 14K now. Okay, he's 14,000 coins, so we want to win him on bid. Or we want to win him tonight when content drops because more people will open packs then again and then he might drop a little bit. What we can do though is bid on him, but the market seems to be a little bit broken. Let me see if I can fix it. No, because if I search like this with no cap, there's a 13,250. I think I just bid on it because if the market is broken, maybe it's broken for more people and they won't even see it. And if I bid 13,250, in case I get outbid, I can still bid 13,750, which is the max price I want to go for. But no, the market seems to be kind of broken because we go from one minute to 13 minutes. So that's a little bit annoying. You got outbid. So yeah, then we bid 13,750. Let's see what happened with those. And because we didn't go right away for 13,750, of course, when you mass bid, I would just go for the price you want to go for. If you don't have too much time, bid 13,750 on all of them if you want to go for that price. But since the market is kind of broken, not many people are looking for it, maybe. I was like, yeah, let's let's take a risk. And I do maybe have some time to, to bid for cheaper today. So we won three. And then we put them on our transfer list for now. So we have that space to bid on other players as well. Sold one in for him. Not too bad. And then we'll just check again. What if I take a different price? Will that fix it? No, the, mar the market is just broken at the moment. What about him? Uh, he's, he's like a little bit on the market here. So we can just buy him. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we, we, we got to go for him then if he's that cheap at the moment. Look at this. Why would we bid on the other one if we can buy this one for so cheap? And we're just going to do it easy. Since there's so many. And on Fudbin, it showed that he was actually 14k. Or 13,750. We just got to make use of this. Because someone just listed him for, for this price. Because they're all at the same time. So probably yesterday he was a little bit cheaper maybe. And he just triggered it. And now we can make good use of it. Because this is also the same thing as always, right? We buy this, we put it on a transfer list, and we just lazy list them. Lazy list these for like 15750 or something like that. Around that price. Or maybe even higher if you want to. And every hour a few will sell 100%. I, I promise you. If you buy... 100 cards doesn't matter what kind of card like a position modifier an inform just fodder cards and you list them for a few k higher or like let's say between like 10 and 20 percent higher than their current price and i think 20 percent is kind of the sweet spot you're gonna sell every hour a bunch of them it's just easy profit up until the moment your investment goes up in price and we're just buying the whole market here and i know it it drives up the price a little bit, right? If we would have kept them on the transfer market and we would have just bid below that, we probably could have won a bunch of them that are a little bit cheaper. But with this way, we can invest our coins very quickly without any effort. We don't take the risk that if we bid on all of them, someone else does the same what we did now. And then all on bid will be outbid as well. And then we need to do everything all over again. So we just keep checking at 13,750. And there are a lot of, again, like... I don't know where they're coming from because the market was empty a second ago. So the market is kind of broken. We can take advantage of that because once the market is broken, people can't find certain players. And if they can't find players, they get annoyed and they don't even continue searching for it. And if we do, like we do now, like we pretty much go all in on him, even though it doesn't really matter which one you go all in on. I, I would kind of divide it between two or multiple ones. That's why I say if you go for an 86 rated players that you want to invest by each 86 rated at least one time and that way you spread your chances and you can sell them quicker you know because if i have 100 of these cards i i can't list them all at the same time because then i flood the market and the 
price will go down. But if I would invest in 10 different players, I buy 10 cards of 10 different players, then I only list 10 of them which won't flood the market that much. So you can sell them way quicker if you divide it more. So for the last 200k, we want to look at the other one. Otherwise, we have all the same one and that's just harder to sell. So let's see if he's now a little bit on the market as well. Just a few and we just keep searching for him. That's what we're going to do for the remaining coins. Can't even do it on bid. So best way to do it, do it on bid rather than what I do. But for me, I want to be time efficient. But if you want to be coin efficient, you definitely want to do it on bid. And oh, now it's not broken. And there we go. We invested all our coins. Probably a few will be outbid. But also, we still have a few to sell here. And every time one sells, we can buy back another one pretty much. Of course, these are a little bit more expensive. They, these are like 13k while these are 11k. But it's kind of the same thing. We can still sell Rudiger, which we probably will do. And then the rest of the coins, when they sell, we will buy the 86 rated. Plus, we will list all of these for probably like something like 16k, 15,750, maybe 17k, something like that. Just a mix between different prices. So when someone searches on a transfer market and they want to buy this player and they're lazy, they see a bunch of different prices and they're like, oh, wait. I saw a bunch of 16k. I see here one of 15, 750. You know what? Let's just buy it. But if you put them all at the same price, they're going to skip over. They're like, oh, I, I want to find one cheaper at least. That's kind of the psychological aspect of listing players. You want to be just below 16k or just below 17k because it looks cheaper. Plus, you want to list a bunch of them at a certain price and then one or two below that because then it also looks cheaper. So that's what we will do still. And the last thing we will check is how many bronzes and silvers do we have tradable still in the club? Because that adds on value as well. We have 253 tradable bronze rares. Currently, they're selling at 300 coins each. I bought most of them at 150 coins each or I packed them. One of the two. They're currently at 300 coins each because of the Robbie Keen SBC. And that would give us 75,000 coins if we would sell them all. But we are going to keep them because of the premium Electron player pack that you got. That SBC, that repeatable SBC. A lot of people got bronze packs. We did too. But that way, the market was so flooded that every bronze play was like 150 coins on bid. That's why we bought a, a few of them. I didn't have much time, so just a few. And the next SBC, the next Icon SBC that comes they will probably go back to like 400 if that SBC doesn't drop again, like the premium electron player pack. But if it does, that's a very good investment for you. Buy bronze rares at 150. If you can buy them on bid for 150, do it. Keep them in your club. And whenever a new icon SBC drops, they go to like 350 at least, maybe even more, but at least you double your coins. And we also have 360 silver rares tradable. And they're currently going for 450 each, which would be 160,000 coins if we would sell it. And silver commons we barely have, so we won't count those. We sold them all when they were up in price. But that means just from bronzes and silvers, the bronze rares and the silver rares, we would get like 230,000 coins if we would sell them all, which is actually crazy. But obviously, we're going to wait till they're more expensive and we make even more profit. Because imagine if we can double that. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We went back to our roots and just trade it again. Well, invest it. If you guys want to see some, some more trading rather than investment or whatever, let me know. Then we can try to maybe snipe a few things or find some filters where we can snipe on. A free one that I can give you right now. And they're always free. Subscribing is free as well. Liking is free as well. But, but yeah, what you could do right now, everyone's doing League SBCs. And there are Liberadores players there, 75 rated or higher. They are expensive at the moment. What you can do is find them, like for example, like Sornoso or something. He's like 75 rated. They go for like 3,000 coins. Check their prices and snipe under it. If you want, I can show the next episode. But for now, I'm going to end the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.